Hi, I'm Owen, and this weekend I was at Telford Scale Model World, where I had the pleasure of talking to John Houston about his car models, and he had some great advice for me. I started by asking him what inspires him to choose a specific kit. I like, I have to like the subject. Uh, it has to mean, you know, interest me, and early on was the BMWs, and minis are my big thing as well. But, but now I've built bikes, tanks, planes, figure, well, one figure, and cars. That's what I like about it. I tackle anything, you know. Do you approach um, a car kit any differently from what you would a uh, model aeroplane or a tank or anything? I tend to build the car kits the way I always built them. Was, so I use zero paints and lacquers and I'll clear coats and stuff like that that you don't do with aircraft. I, I personally don't do a lot of weathering on car kits. I quite like the, the clean liveries of them. Whereas when I, if I do tanks and planes or I'll go, I'll go to town on weathering with that, you know. Do you ever apply like um, any actual car polish to the kits? For anyone who's long term in modeling, they'll probably know the name Ted Taylor. Ted Taylor used to review and build for uh, Matchbox and Airfix magazine and stuff like that way back. And um, he always used to bring up a little tub of this magic polish, which we soon learned was mirror, M-E-R, car polish. Used to see it at car shows and that somebody would always have half a mini bonnet and they'd be polishing it and that's all it was and uh, I still use it it's just ordinary car polish um, I know there's 2k diamond coat and all that and I'm starting to use it but I'm, I'm in the learning stage on that I'm old-fashioned just a bit of car polish and buff it up and how did you get into scale modeling <sighs> well I know I look fresh-faced and very young but uh, no, I, when I was back in Ireland, I was in the Scouts and we were doing the merit badges and there was a merit badge that came up for hobbies. So I actually wanted, I needed a hobby, so I, I went down to the equivalent in Ireland of W.H. Smith's was called Eason's and I got my uh, first kit and it was uh, uh, the off-wing one. It's a... Uh, Blom and Voss, B141, offset wing, just re weird and thing. So I started building that and then got another one and got another one. So from about the age of 10, I was building them. And I, I stopped when I left Ireland, funny enough. So I was building right up until I came about 22. And then I got out of hobby until a chance meeting 25 years ago with this club at a, a show in Shuttleworth collection. And they happened to be Hornchurch, and I was Hornchurch, and, and that's it, I was back. And finally, um, if you had any advice for some people who are just joining the hobby, ah. what, would you, what would you say to them? Uh, I would say enjoy. I think that's a universal uh, rule of thumb, is enjoy what you're building, build what you like, and uh, don't worry about the mistakes, because I'm still making mistakes. And, and always try a new technique. Even if it's only once a year, try and try a bit of uh, weathering, or try a bit of fact form, or try a bit. You know, always try and learn a new skill, and just ask people in other clubs, at shows. Never be afraid to ask anyone, because all you want to do is talk about your own models anyway. So if you ask somebody, they're more than happy to tell you. You know, so enjoy it. That's all I can say.